Planning a room can be daunting, but it gets a lot easier when you break it down into small, manageable steps. Start by looking at these key things, the activities that take place in the room, the needs those activities create, and the solutions that bring it all to life. For many, the bedroom is the space where we want to create an oasis that is not only beautiful, but is highly functional and reflects our personal style. In this episode, we're going to use a teen's room as an example to show you how to plan your space with simple steps. I'm Kathy, and this is Sweet Space. Today, we'll use the following key activities as a starting point for planning. Sleepovers, homework, and getting ready in the morning. When it comes to sleepovers, you need to think about space, comfort, and storage. This adaptable slacked twin bed has storage for extra linens and pillows with a second bed that pulls out for your best friend. Now, let's make a plan for homework. To stay focused, you need comfortable seating, storage to keep everything tidy, and somewhere to put a laptop that isn't a lap. This desk is a perfect fit here, and added storage helps create a tidy workspace while still keeping school supplies close by. Now the room's coming together. Last stop, we need to plan for the first activity of the day, getting ready. This full-length mirror helps you put your best fit forward. Plus, it has a hidden rail behind it for added storage. And with that, we understand the purpose and function of the room. Now it's time to make a plan. Now that we've broken down the activities, needs, and solutions that take place in a teen's room, we can start to plan the full layout. Start by thinking about its structure. These are your fixed features like doors, windows, and ceiling details, the built-in elements that you'll be designing around. Next, let's think about how the room flows. What's the most natural way to move through it? These are the paths you'll want to keep clear, at least to furniture. From there, we're on to the furniture layout. How do those pieces you selected fit into your plan? There can be several different options, so play around until you find what works best. Now, let's go see how they look in the room. Now that you have an idea of where your furniture might be placed, it's time to see how the wall elevations might look in your space. Think about how you can use vertical space to your advantage. This step is all about finding the best place for everything and creating visual balance. Teens spend a lot of time in their bedrooms. Whether it's for doing homework or not doing homework when they should be, task lighting together with other types of lighting can play a key role. And finally, you need to consider your accessories. This is the last step to completing your space and making it your own. These are the final touches that turn a room into your room. The way you accessorize a room can really show off your personality. And with that, we've got ourselves a beautiful, functional, and teen-approved bedroom. When you're planning a multifunctional space, it can be hard to start. But knowing what the room will be used for and breaking down what you need for each activity is the best place to begin. Use hashtag IKEAinspo to show us how you're using these steps to transform your rooms. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time, I'm Kathy, and this is Sweet Space. <laughs>